Guys, we're back with Robbie Pruitt from Antler King, asking him all the hard questions. Um, so, Robbie, this one's come up. Let's see, I've been using Antler King now for about three or four years, and um, I have been religious about using Jolt, and I love it. But now I see you've got an additional product, and I'm kind of confused. What is the difference between chlorophyll and Jolt? Well, if you're looking at two foiler fertilizers there, and Jolt, that product is many years old. You know, it's a nitrogen base that we develop that we can spray on all of our mixes. You know, when we first came out with that mix, we only had trophy clover, we had honey hole, uh, we had lights out, uh, and then slam dunk. That's when, and now we got all these other products. But it's a it's a nine percent nitrogen uh, foiler fertilizer that you can spray on everything. But as you well know, clover doesn't need nitrogen. So we worked and worked and worked for years. Uh, and we finally came up with this clover fuel, which is a 0028. It's potash, liquid potash. That's all clover needs. So when you spray jolt on a clover plot, you're gonna get great results. But with that 9% nitrogen, you're actually feeding the weeds and grasses that you do there. Where with the potash, you don't feed anything except the legume plants, which is your clover, alfalfa, chick, uh, uh, peas, soybeans, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Uh, and a lot of people ask me, so well, your trophy clover has chicory in it. This, this uh, clover fuel don't have, it's only potash, there's no nitrogen. Actually, the, the chicory pulls up the nitrogen very deep down the soil and brings it up to the top. The clover will actually bring it in from the atmosphere and store nitrogen in the soil. So the clover and the chicory are feeding the chicory itself. Oh, okay. So you don't have to add nitrogen to that for that chicory to add into that mix. But clover fuel is really a kind of a custom product. It's custom. For those, those for clover mixes. Them legume plants. Yeah. 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 Um, so does that mean I can really take my Jolt, apply that to all my other food plots, and then save that that clover fuel just for those clover plots? You, you take that clover fuel just for them plots, the Jolt for all the others, and a good thing about it is with these spoiler fertilizers, if you're spraying any kind of herbicide, say on your, your clover plots, uh, your Clefidem or your 2,4-DB, you can mix it in right with your herbicide, one pass application, you're feeding the clover and killing the bad stuff all at the same time. I'll be, that's typically when you like to apply it. That's when I apply it. Dump it right in with your herbicide kill. Yep, sure do. Okay. Guys, if you've enjoyed this, keep tuning in every week. We're gonna ask Robbie all the hard questions.